Let's talk about shin splints. So first off, you can see we've cut a little window into the tibia here, and that allows you to see the medullary cavity, which is the hollow center of a long bone. But if we draw our attention over here, you can see this tissue called the periosteum. And periosteum is going to reside on the outside of compact bone. But periosteum is going to be loaded with nerve endings, bone cells, and a whole variety of other things. But you can see that it's continuous with this tissue here called the fascia. See, as I put my probe under here, you can see that they blend with one another. In fact, they're made of the exact same type of tissue. The only reason we call them something different is because are in different locations. That's just how anatomy works. Well, in shin splints, you can get an overworked muscle, which can actually start to tug on the fascia, which can then tug on the periosteum and cause an inflammation. And since it's loaded with nerve endings, that means you're going to get a quite a bit of pain.